Hello everybody and welcome to this Rover SD1 video. If you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. Like the video if you liked it, dislike the video if you hated it, and leave a comment below because I really appreciate it and I'll read all of them. So, sorry for the lack of uploads recently. A few personal things have been going on, but we're back now. So in this video, we're going to sort out the welding, the carbs, and the clutch situation, and then... And then we're going to drive it out. So you'll see that later on. So moving on to the first step, which is the welding. One of the biggest issues was the massive tear in the firewall and then the hole in the wheel arch, which you can see here. Now, all of that was crumpling through. It's two pieces of metal which are laminated together and there's some seams here and all that sort of usual stuff. But you can see the wheel there, which, of course, is quite... Uh, quite remarkable so this is a before the welding we had all of that section cut out with all the old weak metal and then a new plate welding in and obviously all the holes cutting out that's before shaping then the re wheel arch we had all of that cut out and a new piece welded in on both sides that's all the rotten metal there which was absolutely horrendous and then there you go the new patch which looks absolutely brilliant i then rust proofed that afterwards now we move on to the twin SU carbs and replacing the seals and giving them a good clean. So as you can see, not a lot of movement in there. Um, sometimes it would actually get stuck up the top there and it wouldn't, wouldn't drop back down, which is, of course, not ideal. So taking these things apart is so therapeutic, just sitting there with them on a nice piece of, piece of crate paper or a nice piece of just general paper or anything like that and just taking them apart. And as you can see there... Really, really gunked up and really a lot of build-up and a lot of nasty stuff that obviously makes it not run exactly the best. So we need as little friction in there as possible so that can float up and down as well as it needs to. Here I'm taking the um, float balls off. Probably haven't been taken off in ages. And there you can see um, sort of the, the carb with a few of the bits stripped off of it there. So just generally incredibly dirty with a lot of build-up. And that there on the paper is all from the carbs. And you can see a bit of carb cleaning there as well. So you can see the pieces missing as well from the seals. And these are the replacement ones which we got from SU themselves. And there you go. All the free movement you need. Exactly how it's supposed to be. And really, really clean as well. New oil in there as well, which is perfect. So this should hopefully fix the running problems and l allow us to start the SD1 finally. So here we are on a very rainy day with a, a leaky roof. So far, we've um, we've had the welding done. So the patch on the back and the one there for the master cylinder and, and everything on the firewall. So we tried to put all that in today, as you've seen, but unfortunately the pipe has um, not had a very good time. So where is the pipe? Um, oh, it's in the boot. So we'll get to that in a second anyway. So. In terms of the boot, we have had it plated. Oh, that's again. So we've had that plated. That's my handiwork, by the way. That paint, so you know it's brilliant. Another plate there, which I've forgotten to spray. And the pipe is here, so I'll grab it. And I'll also grab our other friend, the slave cylinder, so I can demonstrate exactly what is wrong with this bloody clutch. So, here's the pipe, by the way. So basically, this this end um, ended up being rounded off, so we've had to cut it off. I was hoping, really was hoping to get it, and it's been out in the rain, by the way, this car, before we sort of only just got it in. But this actually doesn't push in. So this is what I assume is gone. The bleed nipple and everything were off. The other one, you could blow on one end, on this end, and push it out. Um, and push it back in with it with it closed. On this one though, you cannot cannot push it in at all, as you'll probably see by a demonstration on there. But so far we've got the welding done. We've sorted out. We had a new master cylinder on there, but it's absolutely pants. It's made out of like some chewable aluminium. So it's literally gone gone to pot the minute we put that in. To be fair though, I think we did cross thread it. Um, other than that though, I think we're getting pretty far with it. 
It is absolutely caning it down, by the way, as you can see. But we're getting pretty close to actually getting it moving and stuff. It just seems to be like, with all cars, just one little bolt in the way. It's a bit of a sad sight, like, because I wanted it to sort of be done a bit sooner, but life and work and all these things. But yeah, so we've had the welding done, thank God. So we're not we're not a rust bucket anymore. We don't have that massive gash in the front, which I'll show you now. And um, we've got a nice new metal, which I'll show you now. I hope I can edit, by the way, to put that on. The doors, we've got these two doors working, which I'm very happy about. Um, the carbs and everything have been rebuilt, as you've seen by the other part of the video. We still need to put the new gaskets and everything on and put them back on, but we're pretty, pretty good with those as well. Um, what else is there? Oh, we still need a new dash top, by the way. So if someone wants to help me with one of those, that'd be greatly appreciated. But I'm quite pleased though, that I think we have more or less, by the looks of this thing, and the fact it doesn't push in, we've sorted the clutch, um, the clutch issue. Um, well, we've, we diagnosed it, we haven't sorted it because it's still up in the air, still on um, axle stands. So, yeah, I guess, that, I guess that's it. Not the, not the update I was expecting to do today. I was hoping it wouldn't absolutely slam it down with rain and I was hoping we'd be able to do it, but unfortunately one rounded bolt has really screwed us over, which is whatever, that's that's how these cars work. And um, that's how all, all of these classic cars work. So yeah, that's about that. So thank you for watching. Keep watching and remember to um, subscribe for more of this rover sd1 um stuff again i'll start posting regular updates again i've just sort of been um, a bit a bit worked really a bit a bit of work but yeah i think i think we're coming along well we use that side as a reference as well and we it's a little like that side but yeah you can see that's on our side so yeah anyway cheers guys and see you again in the next one goodbye here we are the moment of truth what we've all been waiting for all this time. Is she going to drive out or is she going to sit there and stay in the barn for the rest of eternity to be put on eBay in about 30 years? Not that that would actually happen. I just thought it'd be funny to include. But anyway, we need to get some barn fine dust and that'll increase the value for it by about 500 quid. Is she going to roar out the garage or is she going to stay where she is? It's probably the, the first one, which you already know. So let's get to it. This is all sort of raw and unedited, so as you can imagine, we've got quite a few choice words for a car that hasn't been um, driven in 16 years. She's on them for dear life.
Give it a bit of... Just, just start idle it a bit. There she is, she's fucking alive. Driven all by itself. Only 16 years, eh? So here we are, she's she's working. So we've we rebuilt the carbs as you saw in that other video. And now we have got her coming to life. So you literally just get in, put your clutch in because you're European. Turn it on. Straight on. Running a bit rough at the minute, but I think once it gets a few bits out of it, we'll be alright. It's shooting carbon out earlier, so that's nice, but yeah, it's nice to see it running, so. Cheers for watching everybody. I'll have to go drive me SD1. Bye. Wish I had a gear knob though.